Greetings everyone. Buried away in the cracks of eBay the other night, I found this amazing new camera. Although who it's actually made by, I have no idea. As you can see by the lens cap, this camera's brand name appears to be Camera. Someone's imagination clearly got out of control there, but who cares, because apparently we're being offered a digital SLR camera with all kinds of features for only £25 or $30. US dollars. Why bother spending $1,000 on just one camera lens when you can get this entire painstakingly crafted camera for just 30 Some of its features include a 16 megapixel sensor with image stabilization, apparently, 1080p full high definition video recording, an onboard flash, and a stunning 16 times zoom range, a uh, digital zoom range, I mean. Well, I'm so impressed by those specs that I'll be putting this camera through all my usual lens tests to see exactly what it can do. Let's look at its build quality first though. The first thing you notice is that it is obviously not a digital SLR camera as advertised. Rather, just what appears to be a very cheap video lens glued to the front of a plastic moulded body. The lens's focal length appears to be the full frame equivalent of about 45mm, and not f3.2 as advertised, but in fact f5. It's a fixed focus lens, so anything beyond 1.2 meters from your camera will be in focus, anything nearer will be blurry. As you might imagine, the lens's body is a cheap plastic piece of garbage, feeling completely hollow and being light as a feather when not loaded up with the four AA batteries required for its sustenance. There is a plastic tripod mount at the bottom, which didn't seem to work. The buttons are very clicky to press down, but actually don't always respond very well, you have to really push them in. The screen at the back is small and low resolution, with a very low refresh rate and a strong blue coloured tint to it. The so called flash is simply a small LED bulb that emits a very low powered blue coloured light, which will be nowhere near as effective as the flash on your smartphone. Useless, really. But hey, you do get a red ring around the front of the lens for that genuine Canon L lens touch of quality. Allow me to take you through a few more of this camera's bald-faced marketing lies. The camera allegedly features a 16 times digital zoom. As you can see here, it's actually less than two times. As you can see from this video footage, the lens is not image stabilized as advertised, and the video footage is miles away from being 1080p as advertised. All pictures and videos are in a four by three aspect ratio as well. This is the recording in 1080p. While the camera's menu offers you exposure compensation from minus two stops to plus two stops, you can actually set it to whatever you like because it doesn't make any difference in any of your pictures. And talking of pictures, let's see what kind of image quality we're talking about here. I'll compare it with this 16 megapixel image from an unpublished test shot I took with a Fuji X-T10 camera a few years ago. Oh, uh, something tells me this might not be a 16 megapixel camera. Actually, it's a 1.2 megapixel image that's been generated here and probably the softest I've ever seen in my life. Most cameras don't have a problem auto white balancing with my test chart, but this particular camera has turned everything a blown out shade of green, and even at this very low resolution, the lens's green chromatic aberration on contrasting edges is out of control. Nice. And you might find this hard to believe, but the corner image quality does indeed get even worse. Ouch. I wonder if the lens is actually made of plastic here and not glass. It's quite possible. As you can see here, the lens also exhibits a lot of barrel distortion, which the camera does not bother to correct. Its work against bright lights is, as expected, horrifying, although I've got to give the camera a little credit for at least getting some kind of image in these dark conditions. Because of the lens's fixed focus design, I can't test close up image quality or out of focus background, so there you go. That is all the testing my sanity could endure. I'll be having nightmares about this camera tonight. Just imagine showing up to your wedding day and the photographer pulling this one out of his bag. Honestly, anyone who pays 25 quid for something like this off of eBay or a Facebook ad or whatever should know they're going to get scammed somehow or another. I'm just surprised an actual camera arrived at my door and not a fake pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses or something. This camera, by the great camera manufacturer Camera, 
outcomes heartily not recommended.